Now we'll cover off how to use some of the uh, some other polygon creation tools. So if we go to create and we use an edge tool, the edge tool is simply that it will create us a an object that is made up solely of edges. And I'm going to click for and click back where I started and then hit enter. What that's given me is an object that's comprised in space in the plane that I was drawing four edges like so. There's no faces it's simply four points strung together with four edges. I'll just delete that. I'll hit spacebar and I'll just go to the top view and hit spacebar again to show you once again. So we're now looking down the top view and we'll also turn selection snapping and we'll snap to grid. We'll go back to create using the edge tool. We'll just zoom in a little and then we'll just do that again. Slightly bigger this time. back again. So using spacebar just go back to this mode. You can see it's created it along the, the flat plane like so. Now you created edges and we've created it with lots of polygons so it depends on what um, project you're actually working on so you, you is to what you do next. So you could string all of those together using shift oops I missed one there just do that again one two three four five six seven, eight and then hit P which is create polygon which we showed in the last video and that's now filled in that set of edges and now if we wanted to we could connect them like so with X or we could actually Go to object mode and we could then split them as we also showed in the previous video. So from the edge we've now got proper faces. So from straightforward edges we've now built faces. Now if you don't want to use, uh, let's just clear that, if you don't want to use edges like so you can just create the polygons straight away with a different tool. So go to top again using space we'll use create and instead of using the edge tool we'll now use the polygon tool and the polygon tool is almost the same in terms of its look and feel but what it's actually doing is creating the polygon for you like so and that's done the same as if we'd created the edges and then filled it in and again you can split across, you can do exactly as we did before. Oops, we missed that one there. Like so. So that's a way to start creating. If you wanted to create a wing, for example, for a creature. So let's just give you an example, a live example. I would go back to top mode, like so. We'll just create polygon tool. And then you could either put a picture in the background or you could quickly define the shape of a bat wing, for example. Like so. Hit in enter. Hit and escape to come out of that tool, and there we have um, a straightforward polygon. Now, what we would normally do there is using um, selecting two points at a time, just join them up with edges like so, and that single polygon now has become a useful set of polygons that we could 
use to define this model. Let's just move that along. I actually need one more in there. So using X, I just add in one more point. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'd like to keep this as much as possible. I'd like to keep this as quads. Let's move that down a tiny bit. Just actually changing the look of it a little bit, just to keep it in quads, as I said. And delete that one, and that's fine. So there we have the overall wing shape, and I can actually use another one that we've already covered, which is extrude. all the way around there and use keyboard C and there you have a basic wing shape so from using the surface using the polygon tool we've created a very basic shape quite quickly and using extrude we've then made it into a, um, a 3d object um, just from using that that one tool again you can do it with an edge uh, it's quite useful just to use the face straight away now what you can do is carry on and get more functionality out of the polygon tool. So if we go back to top and just make one polygon tool, one polygon shape, and then carry on like so. What I've actually done there is add on another polygon to the first polygon using the same tool. I can keep coming out of the tool and I can tweak so if you look around now to make sure it's in the right plane that you would want it I'm going to actually move that up because it's below the ground plane and now if I want more I can carry on so create polygon tool and carry on creating polygons like so That one's just moved slightly away from where I wanted it. And it's left me those two missing, so I could easily combine those with select the two of them and merge. And you can see now that even though I'm in perspective mode, which isn't always the best mode for this type of modeling, I'm actually able to build up um the shape, uh, an overall shape quite quickly just by using the tools and some of the tools we've explained in the earlier videos so we can just do one more just to show you so polygon tool like so let's just remove the tool and then you just carry on tweaking and adding polygons as you see fit. Combine that with an edge extrude and it's a very powerful set of tools to create um, any model you want really. Okay, that's that one covered.